I saw this uh, integral on YouTube. It's not really very easy to do. I have my own method that I want to share with you. Now, this integral <coughs> uh, contains an exponential function. Therefore, the antiderivative, if, ex if it exists, must contain exponential functions. And uh, it's a sort of a product with other function, f of x. So if we can find f of x, and uh, if this antiderivative exists, then we can easily find uh, the value of this definite integral. Now, <clears throat> if this is the antiderivative, then if we differentiate both sides, this, uh, this derivative with respect to x will be equal to this. So let's differentiate this side. This is equal to f derivative times this plus this derivative, which is this times the, times the negative two sine x multiplied by f of x is equal to the integrand that side. <coughs> That's easy to understand, right? Then, uh, then we cancel that exponential. We have this equation. <coughs> if we plug a zero uh, we, uh, for x, then this is f prime of x uh, zero is equal to one because this is zero, right? Sine zero is zero. If we put a value for x equal to pi, this is zero. Then f prime of pi is one. From these two, from these two, we can have a f prime of x is equal to k times x times x minus pi plus one. Because when x equal to zero, this is equal to one. When k when x equal to pi, this is equal to one. Okay. Then from this, we can find the f. We can find f of x. We multiply. We multiply this to the bracket. We have this, right? That is f of a, f prime of x. Then we can find f of x simply by integrating this one. So we, we have a f of x, but we have a two unknowns, k and a c. If we find a k and a c, we find f of x. Right. Now, we cannot find f of x from this differential equations. If we use differential equations, then we go back to the integral. So it's, there's no use to find the f from this differential equations. And we have to find uh, f of x by using other mean. Okay, I, I, I think everything follows. <laughs> now, this is the equation with star, okay? Now, if we plug f of, uh, x equals half pi, then f prime of half pi, this is 2, right? This is f half, f of a half pi equal to 1. See, that is this equation. Since we have a f prime, and we do have f of x, then we plug x equals to half pi there, plug uh, half pi for x over there, we get this equation. See, simply means half pi here, half pi here, half pi here, half pi, half pi there. 
then we get this equation. Then we can simplify, simplify this one, you get this. I call this equation one. Okay, then <coughs> we, we do the same thing by choosing value of x for pi over 6 into, into this equation. Pi over 6 sine x, uh, sine pi over 6 is uh, 1 half. Therefore, f, f prime of uh, pi over 6 minus f of uh, pi over 6 is equal to 1, which is coming from this equation. Then we plug uh, pi over 6 into, into f uh, prime of x. We plug pi over 6 into f of x, and we get uh, this equation. And uh, then we simplify. We simplify, then we get this equation. Now we have two equations. We can solve for k and a c. We, so we find a k and a c. Of course, there's a quite quite some uh, arithmetic calculations. I did the three times, and uh, I believe these values uh, should be correct. Once you have a k and a c, then we have a f of x. Just plug a k and a c over there. We have a we have a f of x. This is our f of x function. Well, I, I approximate into four decimal places. Then we can solve for our our integral. Our integral is a e to the 2 cosine x times f of x from 0 to pi. f of x is this. Then as x equals to pi, this is a negative 1. So e to the negative 2 times f of a pi minus this is equal to 1, right? The e to the square multiplied by f of a 0. So and then we calculate calculate the value. We get we get uh, zero point seven one five seven, approximately to four decimal places. Well, okay. This value is uh, by plugging x as a pi. You get this one. When x equals zero, this is the value. So that is the overall our integral integral value approximately to four decimal places. I believe my calculation is is correct. If anything wrong, please leave it to your comment. Thank you for your watching.